Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions, with me, Almeron. Alright, so, last time we did a bunch of side questy stuff, we accidentally had a fight in Dorder, uh, and this time we're going to do, well, besides questy, we did a bunch of errands. This time we're going to do a bit more side questy stuff, and probably some more errands. Uh, but first, Nathaniel, you're great for the, you know, day that I had you, but, uh, we're done. Maybe I'll pretend to hire early again. I don't think so. I think, I think we're, I think we're basically where we need to be, so. Uh, let's go see, uh, this. Mistadio. Will the stones truly bring the sphere to life? Desrudio, you saw as much with your own eyes, did you not? Stadio, you were right, it stirs. Is that all? It must no longer be operational. Automaton. Initialization complete. All systems normal. What is your command, Master? Mustadio. By the gods! The machine speaks! Automaton. Awaiting your command, Master. Mustadio. Give it a command, Ramza. Ramza. Me? Must I? Mayhap you could... Mustadio, what are you talking about? You're the thing's master. Automaton, repeat, awaiting command. Ramza, uh, very well, um... Dance! Mustadio, oh, for... Ramza, well, what would you have it do? I love the dance. Mustadio, it's... it's dancing. Sort of. I wonder how powerful this thing is. Automaton. I am very strong. Ramza. Well then. Dispose of Mustadio. Mustadio. Oh, for. <laughs> Ramza. Oh no! Phoenix down! Where is the Phoenix down? <laughs> Construct 8. Ramza's little panic there. I think that's like a unique animation. I don't think it shows up anywhere else. Welcome, Construct 8, or Worker 8, from the original translation. So there we go, we got a new party member. Oh ho, wait, we have more, because I've progressed the plot far enough. <laughs> Mustadio. Father, what is this monstrosity? This Rudio. I'm not entirely sure. I've been assembling it from pieces recovered in Tunnel 83. Ramza. It has the look of an orrery. Says Rudio. I, to hear it said, it does. Hmm. Mustadio. What was that? Ramza. This device reacts to Aurasite as well? Says Rudio. Hmm. What's this? There's a mark inscribed upon the base. I think that's cancer. Indeed, another stone appears to be required. Ramza. Then I suppose we had best begin searching. Okay, we'll begin searching for the Cancer Stone. Fortunately, I know exactly where to go, so I'll be right back. the ruins of many ancient temples which served as a crucial base for the warriors fighting Rodalia's forces during the Fifty Years' War. Although Nevesca may appear to be a lush jungle paradise, the local fishermen avoid it, claiming that it is cursed and a fearsome iron sentinel will slaughter any who dare approach. Really? A fearsome iron sentinel? Huh. 
what that could mean. Sorry if that was too loud for you. Um, so instead of doing that just now, we've seen it at least, we're gonna go back the other way. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and do some errands over here. So I'll be right back. Correction, we have a random encounter and I'm gonna go ahead and play through this one. At Finneth Creek. Oh dear, chocobos of dragon. Oh, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, uh, it's a good thing I'm going to be doing things other than trying to win the fight. Rafa, stay here. God said, let's see what you can do. I mean, I know what you can do. Let's just see you do the thing that I know you can do. Yeah, I definitely want him to have at least Helen Blade. Possibly Divine Marination as well. So I'm going to have to do some uh, grinding with him before I take on Noveska. Not that he needs a lot of help, I just want some more range, really. Probably can't reach. Let's see what he got. Nope. Yeah, same same reach on all of those. Melia Duel's moved on to being a knight. Um, I want to get her through some thief levels so that I can get the move plus two um, movement ability on her. 
Um, but So you have to kind of go through some of the other stuff. But before I make her things like Archer and Thief, that um, will take away her Unyielding Blade, which is her main attraction, I'm going to have her do some Knight levels uh, and learn Equip Swords, which I think I did with Agrius when doing the same thing. Uh, so that she can keep a sword on her, even if she's like an archer. <laughs> She'll just have a sword and hit people uh, with the unyielding blade, which is better than a bow. For the most part. Alright. Beowulf, you're here for a reason. And that reason is chicken. And chicken is an ability that lowers bravery by a lot. And I kind of wanted to show this off. <laughs> so... Normally you'd want to do it on the enemies, for reasons that will become obvious in a moment, but I really want her <laughs> bravery down for the treasure hunting. It can't go down too far permanently. I think 10, or 10, 10 and below is bad, but I want it to be closer to 20. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, she's a chicken. <laughs> she's just going to run away. Uh, that's probably all I need to do with, um, with Rafa to be prepared for the, uh, the, the fight at Bravenia. Ooh, look at that hit. This guy must be weak to ice. Nice. Maybe we can finish it off before those chocobos heal it up. <laughs> uh, probably not. So when they're below 10 brave, they turn into a chicken and they gradually regain brave through um, until they get back to 10 or above 10, something like that. And then they turn back into normal and you can use them fine. Um, conveniently, you can do this to enemies, which is the real reason you want to have chicken. Uh, Beowulf's best ability, <laughs> bar none. Like, don't get me wrong, disable, fantastic. Chicken, leagues better. Did you just dodge, just block a dragon's breath? Vistadio, you're amazing. That didn't happen to move into range of you. Okay. Just gonna have to get closer. I see the Marlboros. I'll deal with them later. Crush armor, I think, might be new since I uh, last showed this. Yeah. Crush armor is, I think, because it's at the top, it's the one that I think of the most for uh, for that sort of thing. Don't get too close to the fight, chicken. Hello, chocobos. You guys can be irritating. Oh, no. Only hits one of them. The height difference is too much. Let's see. Does it work this way? It will not. Well, that's a shame. We hit the one on the lower ground, right? So... Let's see if I can make a chocobo a chicken. 97% chance. I don't know what its bravery is. It does have to drop below 10, I think, to turn into a chicken. But lower brave does mean uh, much more likely to not use, be able to, much less likely to hit um, counters and stuff, so that's always nice. I don't know if Malboros have bad breath in this game. Maybe they do. I think they most. I mostly see them use like tentacle attacks, though. My, may, maybe a, a higher level version of them. No. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Counter tackle is, is very funny. Um, is that in range or is that just out of range? At some point, I'll get a feel for how much of a range she has. It does decent damage, at least. 
The, uh, the Malvaro wounded look is also one of my favorite things in the game. I've got a lot of favorite things in this game. But that look. Oh, you hit me. Okay. Um, judgment Blade, just because it's multi-target. Okay, so the Chocobo's Brave went down by 50. It's still above 10. But if it goes down another 50, <laughs> they don't get above, above... There we go. They don't get above um, 97, I think. Uh, can you hit? You can hit. Might be weak to ice as well. Fantastic. I'm so sorry you didn't do much this battle, Rafa, but... Um, let's see. I think I send you after the Malvaro, and then the rest of the group goes after the chicken. Oh no. This is why Melido needs move plus two. Hits, it hits. It's dead. And now there's a dead chicken in the water. <laughs> Alright, if I misjudge this and Rafa runs away at the end of the fight, I'm going to have to reload, but, um, and just do it more slowly with... Actually, hang on. Let's go look at the dead chicken. Oh no, the poor chicken. Oh, I thought it was right. See, this is why I turned the, you want to turn the thing. Sometimes the Malvaro is not right in front of you where you thought it was. So Raph is the one you do low bravery on. Um, you could do it on anybody, especially once you have chicken. Assuming chicken works. Like, I think my guide says chicken works. But I think I remember, like, original game, maybe chicken didn't work to, to permanently lower brave. Um, but anyway, the reason you do it with Rafa is that Rafa has a kind of a low brave to start with. Yeah, okay, so not too bad. It dropped it by five. Awesome. So yeah, there we go. That's chicken. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two more potential fights, so and I don't want to do them all on camera, so I'm gonna pause again. Welcome to the royal city of Lazalia. As long as we're here, um, there might be a rumor for us to check out. Rash of thefts. Clergymen from all over Ivalice have been reporting thefts as of late. All of the items stolen have been jewels in the care of religious institutions, leading the Church of Glavidos to conclude that the crimes are the work of heretics or other enemies of the Church. Anticipating further incidents, it has warned its members to exercise particular vigilance. Ooh. 
Okay, now. What jobs do we need? We need a corridor, a ninja and geomancer, and order. Two orders, ninja, geomancer. And is that everything in... Well, you know what? I can find out. Yeah, just the three. Okay. You get to be in order. Like that. Let me, let me see. That's the Geomancer is the skill save job. So that's the one I can do with two people. So to Meta, you get to go back and be your favorite at Geomancer again. I mean, you already mastered it, but you know what? It's fine. And Errol is going to be in order again, just for these three things. Send people there. Zero's return. Actually, is that one that I was looking at? Mm -hmm. It is not. Trees in the dark. Let's see, where is this one? There it is. Zero's return. Ninja chemist. All right. So, I actually need to back out real quick, one more time. Serena is my go-to chemist for these, apparently. This is still going to be fine. So one of the ones I was looking at is actually unlocked after I do one of the other ones that's here. So, okay. Zero's return. I recently received the following note. You must stop this brazen madman, Baron Barfrost. Oh my goodness. So bar spells are like green magic spells in the series where like you cast it and you get protection from that element. Thus, Bar Frost for Ice and Bar Thundra, thundra for Thunder. <laughs> My dear Baron Bar Frost, I will soon be coming for your precious valuables. Zero. I feel like that might have been added into the newer translation. I just a just a sneaking suspicion. Serena. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and send Demeta because we don't the Geomancer is for the other. Nine days away. Ducal disaster. Calling all brave adventurers, the son of Duke McEnro, blood relation to the King of Ivelis, has been abducted by a person or persons unknown. We are recruiting members for a search party. You will be compensated. Captain Gomez of the Lazalia Guard. That needs an order. And then... Alicia and Lavian. Oh, I should have... And I'll save the other one for for uh, when I get three people back. Let's see, maybe I shouldn't have left Nathaniel. Let me see, is it here I need to go? Okay. It is here. There's a rumor here that I need to read. A call for guards. The city of Bervenia has donated a treasure known as the Wailing Ort to the city of Dorder, and a merchant has been commissioned to make the delivery. 
However, recent rumors of bandits on the trade routes have him too frightened to make the journey. He seeks guards with strong sword arms to protect him along his way. Interesting. If true. No, it's true. Probably true. And then, for reasons, I am going to make sure this chocobo is gone. Yeah, I know. Poor thing. I gotta, I, I, it's, it's a, it's a raise and release program. I have to raise them up and then release them into the wild. Hang on. Let's see, you're number 17. Okay, so 18, the 18 block is empty. Oh no, it's a fight. <laughs> Who could have seen it coming? Show of construct data is in his own time. I just don't want this to take too long. The Dorter slums, yet again. We keep we keep coming back here. Ooh, fancy. A godless thief with designs upon the church vaults. Could it be he seeks the stones? The road to the Orosite is barred by Templar swords. But it is the same road that leads to Alma. Why is Ramza wearing his Chapter 3 gear? I will walk whatever road I must to see you free. Even if it means walking headlong into a trap! Why is that monk using a sword? Except the bait! I told you he would! We've caught the wrong man. This one's not the thief. But he's still a heretic. Mistakes were twofold, I'm afraid. <laughs> you sprung your trap without looking to see if the game you hunted was the one you snared. And you sold me short. I'm no thief. I'm a sky pirate. It's him! Now that we've dispensed with the pleasantries, tell me where I'll find the Cache of Glavados. The Cache of Glavados? Two heretics instead of one. Rum luck, I say. We'll claim the bounty for them both. Oh, you'll have your reward for finding me. And don't think about running off without collecting. My shot is faster. And my name's not Balthier. <laughs> so, this is uh, another crossover character, obviously, from Final Fantasy XII. Well, here at least kind of makes sense uh, more so. Well, I guess Luso is from um, the Tactics Advance 2, which is, does technically take place in Ivalice. In uh, some version of the same Ivalice as 12 in regular, the original Tactics. Both here. They've numbers, if nothing else. Perhaps the Brief Alliance is in order. One hand washes the other and all that. Ramza. I'll certainly not object. So, in this game, Balthier is a strictly a better version of Mustadio. Doesn't necessarily guarantee I'll use him that much, because uh, I like Mustadio, but, you know, it's kind of fun to get everybody and show them off a little bit, so I might, I might train him up. Hi. Goodbye. Still need to get you move plus two. It's the same map as the original. Uh, this is a, an, a hopefully obvious addition to the game. Nice jump uh, for for the uh, War of the Lions release because um, Final Fantasy XII and Balthier uh, had not been released. Uh, when the game originally came out around the time that Final Fantasy VII came out. I think the same year. 
<laughs> I guess it wasn't that long until... Oh, goodness. That hurts. Well, Fear, stay alive. There's no, I, I haven't had a chance to do anything with you yet. Um, Ramza, go distract them. By uh, utterly murdering their white mage. Don't want them shooting Balthier. I'm not sure how if he can take another hit. Is this uh, in the grand tradition of uh, one of the archers in Dorder not having a bow? Okay, that was a choice. Hang on, I gotta check something. does have a sword. He still got equipped because he had one in the cutscene. Alright then, Jackus. Uh, that whose turn was it? Agrius? Yeah. Okay, bud. Here's Agrius for ya. It's not quite enough to murder you outright, but pretty close. Down you go. Um, don't think. Yeah, I can't quite get up to the ends of top. Wasn't expecting to. Just finish this one. I don't think the punchy archer is going to do a whole lot, so we'll finish this one off first. Down he goes. Bunchy Archer is definitely not going to do a whole lot. Because... Wow, well, he's not quite dead. Well, at least he won't be casting any spells. Oh my goodness, one hit point left. Oh, dear. I know she doesn't have the movement to get in range, but, you know, worth a shot. One away. One away. You, on the other hand, have extreme movement for some reason. Well, we've got... Okay, well, I guess the German has boots help a lot, so... I don't think he needs to do any more than this. There we go. Balthier. Such a warm welcome. I see my reputation precedes me. Ramza. You are branded a heretic as well? Balthier. Religion and I don't mix, I'm afraid. Ah, <sighs> another false lead. Bronza. Why do you seek this cache of Glavados? Balthier. Women, treasure. Does a man need reason to pursue beauty? Brom 
Alfonso. The church is treasure. It is not the prize you think it. Balthier, then you know it. Ramza, no, it's only... You're better off not searching. The road is fraught with dangers you cannot know. Balthier, who do you think you're talking to? The leading man never balks at a little danger. Though this does have more the feel of a cameo role, Mr. Fourth Wall. Nonetheless, I have my reasons for seeking that particular treasure. I found it once, laid my hands on it, and look where it's gotten me. If I find it again, I can put things back as they were. And since you seem to know something of it, you've gained yourself another traveling companion. Ramza. Oh? Balthier. Not to worry, I've some experience in the chaperoning of children. Ramza. I'm no child? Balthier. Yes, they all say that, don't they? Ramza. And you say you are a sky pirate. Would you have me believe you can fly? I see no wings. Balthier. I seem to always find myself a pirate without a sky. At this rate, I'm like to forget how to fly altogether. Comes with the uh, Thief's Cap and Mirage Vest and Rath Al Gethi, which I think is unique to him. Like it wasn't in the original game, I suspect. So yeah, pretty cool. Also got a r achievement thing for it. Okay, so let's save, because I don't really want to fight a random encounter. I just want to go up to Lazalia. <sighs> All right, so this is what I've been doing when I don't want a random encounter. There we go. <laughs> Just to uh, mess with the RNG a little bit. Okay, let's turn these in. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I didn't actually go far enough. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it just ten for the... Okay, there's still one more. Probably twelve. Eleven. Nope, not yet. This is what I get for doing a cutscene in between errands. 14? Is that enough? No. Can't have been more than 16. I think they go beyond 16. There we go. Zero's return. We departed Lazalia in high spirits. Our goal was to capture Zero, a master thief. Again because we didn't do it last time. The stars were with us. Our foe was a worthy one, yet the skills of the chemist were a great boon to us. Eventually, we emerged victorious. One person can make the difference. After the battle, we began to ready our packs for the road. One of our party uncovered a large treasure chest. We quickly examined the contents. A treasure beyond compare. Our fortune could not have been greater. We got Tarot de Benestat. De Benestat? Ben style. Hmm. And Ducal Disaster. Our task to rec rescue Duke McEnroe's kidnapped son. The stars were with us. Our foe was a worthy one. Who is our foe? We're re anyway, working swiftly, we, we located and extracted our mark. We then began making preparations for the journey home. Upon our return, we were given a gift in gratitude. Eagerly, we looked to see what our efforts had earned us. It was a handsome reward in Gil. Oh, good. Our fortune could not have been greater. Oh, that was a nice reward, buddy. I like how much my, uh, my funds have shot up. Okay. So let's check out our artifact. Which was... Tarot, 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 tarot. Tarot cards hand painted by Ben Stah 
a well-known artist. It is the only deck of its kind and was stolen from Lazalia's National Museum of Art some years ago. Neat. And now we have it. We're not giving it back, apparently. Okay, and we need to find the rescue of young Lord of Papal and something to do with zero again, I bet. Not that one. Zero's return. Okay. somewhere. Zero's return. Zero returned for another heist, this time targeting Baron Barfrost. Given Zero's history, we thought it best to guard the Baron's priceless art collection. Despite our best preparations, Zero gained access to the Baron's estate in the guise of a gardener, and escaped with paintings and gold. Before vanishing into the night, he left behind a message and a treasure, which we took. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, there. The rescue of young Lord Papal. Duke McEnroe's son was kidnapped by brigands claiming to work against the nobility. The city guard conducted their own investigation, supplemented by an outside search party at the request of the Duke. Working with members of the guard, we infiltrated the culprit's hideout and rescued young Papal. It seems the man's, men's ultimate goal was the dissolution of Ivelisse's aristocracy. I'm not against that done a, gr a you know such a great job so far okay i hope everybody enjoyed this episode we got to meet some new people and um or old people if you've met Belthier before which at this point if you're watching this video you probably have but you never know all right i'll talk to you next time bye for now